Hello, Grade 3. We are here today for our online class. Are you ready? Okay, if you're ready, let's start. Okay, welcome to online class Math 3. Okay, if you have Inside Out Math Book, you can get your workbook, Math 3, your pen, and your liquid paper. Okay, let's go to chapter... Eight, mass. Okay, last time we studied about mass, kilogram and grams. The kilogram, which object is the kilogram, and which object is the grams. So you write the names of each object in kilogram and grams. So today we are going to uh, 8.2, but before we go there, Let's study about the vocabulary words. Are you ready? Okay, vocabulary words today is measure, measure, kilogram, kilogram, gram, gram, heavier, heavier, as heavy as, as heavy as lightest lightest heaviest heaviest lighter lighter one more measure kilogram gram heavier as heavy as lightest heaviest lighter how do you spell measure M E A S U R E measure kilogram K I L O G R A M kilogram gram G R A M gram heavier H E A V I E R heavier as heavy as A S H E A V Y A S Lightest L I G H T E S T Lightest Heaviest H E A V I E S T Heaviest Lighter L I G H T E R Lighter So these are the vocabulary words that are we going to use in our lessons. Okay, are you ready? Let's proceed to 8.2. 8.2, comparing masses. Let us now compare the masses of objects. We can arrange masses in increasing or decreasing order. When you say increasing, they going up. When you say decreasing, from up going down, decreasing order. Let's think. Which objects are heavier than one kilogram? Which objects are heavier than one kilogram? Example number four. Which object is heavier? Duck or fish? Look at the scale and the pointer of each scale. Which object is the lighter? Can you tell me, student? Which one is heavier, duck or fish? Okay. And which object is lighter here, duck or fish? Good job. Now, let's see. Okay, these are the solutions. Look at the pointer. The mass of the duck is 3 kilogram and 200 grams or 3 kg and 2 kids. The mass of the fish is 2 kg and 5 g, 500 g, or 2 kg, 5 kids. So 3 kg, 200 g is heavier than 2 kg, 500 g. So the duck is heavier. 2 kg, 5 kids is lighter than 3 kg to kids. So the fish is lighter. Okay, 
So if your answer duck is heavier, you are correct. Okay, if your answer the fish is lighter, you are correct. Okay, another example. Okay, example. Which object is as heavy as the packet of flour? As heavy. We say as heavy means same. Same heavy, same weight. Okay. Okay, we have here the rice, the flour, and the sugar. Okay, look at the pointer of each scale solution. Look at the pointer. These are the pointer, the red one. The mass of the rice is how many? 3 kilogram and 500 grams. How about the mass of the flour? 3 kilogram and 500 grams. The mass of the sugar is 1 kilogram. Here, one already. And 700 grams. So the packet of flour and the packet of rice have the same mass. So when you say you have the same, they are as heavy as same. So the packet of flour is as heavy as the packet of rice. Do you understand? Okay, very good. Okay. Next. So just look at the pointer, then you can find and compare which one is heavier and which one is the lighter. Okay, so let's proceed. So here, uh -huh. example number example number six. Arrange the fruits from the lightest to the heaviest. Okay, let's arrange the fruits. Okay, we have apple, orange, and mango. Let's arrange. Okay, how can we arrange? Now just look at the pointer of each scale. Solution. Look and where the pointer is. These are the pointer. Look and where is the pointer is. Each small part of the scale on the scale show 10 gram. So the mass of the apple is 180 grams. So this one is 180 grams. The mass of of orange of the orange is 260 grams and the mass of the mango is 430 grams so the apple is the lightest so if you are gonna arrange the fruit from the lightest to the heaviest the mango is the heaviest so we have apple orange and mango so from lightest, when you say lightest, not heavy, going to the heavy, heaviest, apple, orange, and mango. Okay. So these are the arranged from the lightest, going to the heaviest. Another example, arrange the objects from the heaviest to the lightest. Okay, we have cabbage, sardines, sugar, again, cabbage, sardines, sugar. Look at the pointer. Solution, look at the pointer is, where is the pointer? The mass of the cabbage is 700 grams. The mass of tin of sardines is 450 grams. The mass of the packet of sugar is 350 grams. So which one is the heaviest going to the lightest? Can you arrange cabbage, sardines, or sugar from the heaviest going to the lightest? Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, the cabbage is the heaviest. Very good. So the packet of sugar is the lightest. So we have 
cabbage is the heaviest. Tin of sardines, bucket of sugar is the lightest. So from the heaviest, cabbage going to the lightest, bucket of sugar. So what happens if the object is more than one kilogram? So what happens if I use a two kilogram weighing scale to measure the mass? of the cabbage where will the pointer point at where the pointer point at so here let's try this one let's try number one which object is heavier which object is the light here okay can you tell me which of these fruit is the heavier durian or pineapple can you circle the the heaviest the heavier okay and which object is the lighter okay very good number two arrange the object from the lightest to the heaviest lightest to the heaviest we have stapler box of tissue paper and ladle okay stapler how many kilogram how many grams box of tissue paper and ladle can you arrange from the lightest to the heaviest which one is the lightest stapler box of tissue paper or ladle and which uh, is the heaviest Okay, can you arrange? One, two, three, four, five. Ans answer. Okay. Good job. So the light yes. Okay. Can okay, now let's go to number three. Arrange the object from the heaviest to the lightest. We have cup, coin, and handkerchief. Cup, coin, handkerchief. Okay, which of these three is the heaviest? And which of these three is the lightest? So which one is the heaviest? Going to the lightest. Okay, okay, look at the pointer, the pointer, the pointer. Okay, so what is your answer? Heaviest to the lightest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you got the answer, very good. Okay, let's go to WB Worksheet 8.2. Get your book and let's try to answer. But before we go to your book, let's try this one. Okay, let's do it. Balance me. Can you balance? Material needed. Balance scale from one kilogram. Okay, let's practice this one. Okay, if you have time, you can do this and practice. One kilogram, two kilogram, three kilogram, five grams. 5 grams, 1 grams, 2 grams, 3 grams, 5 grams, and 10 grams weights. Get into group of 3 or 4. Get one player to create puzzle using the balance scale and weights provided. Example, name place the following weights on the balance. Can you make 2 moves to make the balance scale? When you say balance, means equal. Okay, can you balance this scale? You have two only answer, two moves, only two moves. Two moves to make your, let's try. Okay, did you get it? Which one, which one do you move here? Which one here do you move there? Can you move? Okay. Okay, good job. The next, okay, you can go back here after you answer your work workbook. Let's proceed. 
Okay, let's go to your book, 8.2 Comparing Masses. Use a scale to measure the masses of each object. Choose the correct word given in the brackets. Okay, if you have a razor and the ruler, can you balance how many grams of the eraser is and what is the mass of the ruler? If you get if you have eraser and ruler, can you balance the eraser and the ruler? Can you get how many grams are there? Then the eraser is what? The eraser, you, you compare. The eraser is what? Heavier or lighter? Okay, example, the eraser is 2 kilogram. The ruler is 1 gram. 1 gram, 2 kilogram. So 2 is what? Heavier. So which one? The eraser is what? Heavier or lighter? You write your answer. Heavier or lighter? Right. That's A. The next letter letter B to one B. Masses of your sharpener is about if you have sharpener and pen, what is the grams of your sharpener and pen? Can you write how many grams of your sharpener? How many grams of your pen? Then the sharpener is what? Heavier or lighter? Is your sharpener heavier or lighter? Okay. And C, mass of science textbook. Okay, if you have science book and math book, how many? Ah, here, kilogram. Ah, they're writing kilogram. So how many? Science book and math book. So what is in kilogram? If not kilogram, you just write grams. The science book is what? Heavier or lighter? Write your answer here. That's letter C. Done. Then letter D. Mass of your school bag. If you get your school bag, right here. Or friend's school bag. Your friend or your mom's bag or your brother's bag father's bag you can use it because we are not in the school so you can use your mom's bag or your brother's bag sister's bag write your write first your school bag how many kilogram your school bag and write here your friends or if you don't have friends your sister's school bag your father bag, your mother bag, or your any bag that you have, your grandma, grandpa's bag, right here. So your, your school bag is what? Heavier or lighter? Write your answer here. Okay. The number two, compare the masses, then fill in the blank. So can you compare letter P and letter Q? Letter P is... How many kilogram letter P? Uh, letter P is what? Heavier or lighter? Heavier or lighter? P is here and Q is here. So P and Q, letter P is what? Heavy, heavier or lighter? Then by parcel Q, by how many kilogram and how, how many kids okay okay next number three the pen is than the pencil so the pen how many grams uh, the pen is what heavier or lighter do the pointer look at the pointer the pen is what? Heavier or lighter? Right here, heavier or lighter than the pencil. By how many gram? How many gram? Write the grams here. Pencil by how many grams? And C, we have orange and pear. Okay, look at the pointer. Orange is what? Heavier or lighter? 
Then the peer by how many kids? Right here. Okay. Then the loaf of bread and jar of cookies. Okay. The loaf of bread is what? Heavier or lighter than the jar of cookies? Is it heavier or lighter? Then by how many grams? Write your answer there. Did you get it? Okay, good job. The next. Uh, number three. Compare all the masses of each object. Then fill in the blank. Compare. Let's compare pomelo, mango, and guava. Guava is what? This is pomelo. Then this is guava. Guava is as heavy as... Okay, we say as heavy, same, same way. Heavy as what? Heavy as pomelo? Heavy as guava? So what is your answer? The, uh, the guava, uh, the guava, the guava, this one, the guava is heavy as pomelo or mango? Pomelo or mango, right the answer. Heavy means same, huh? As heavy as, same. Pomelo, is it pomelo or mango? Write your answer here. Then B, we have spoon, chopsticks, and fork. Spoon, chopsticks, and fork. The spoon is heavy as, when you say heavy as, same. Spoon, this is the spoon. Heavy as, what? which one? Heavy as chopstick or heavy as fork? Write your answer here. And C. The book, book, pencil case and key. Book, B-O-O-K, pencil case, P-E-N-C-I-L-C-A-S-E, -E, and key, K-E-Y, key. Arrange the object from the lightest to the heaviest. So arrange the, the object. Which one is the lightest? Like this, when you say like this, not heavy. Which one of these is the lightest? Look at the pointer of the scale. Is it book, pencil, and pencil case or key? Arrange here. Lightest going to the heaviest. Okay? Did you get the answer? Okay, very good. And last one. Now uh, here, letter D. Arrange the object from the heaviest to the lightest. Okay, we have heaviest. Okay, we have here goose, hen, and duck. Goose, G-O-O-S-E, hen, H-E-N, and duck, D-U-C-K, duck. Which of these animals are the heaviest? Going to the lightiest. Uh, look at the kilogram. Look at the kilogram. Which one is the heaviest here? Right here. Write the name of the animal. Is it goose, hen, or duck? Heaviest. Going to the lightiest. Okay. Did you get the answer? Just write only the names of the animals. Which is the heaviest? And look at the scale of the pointer. Which one is the heaviest going to the lightiest? Okay. Well done, guys. Okay, if you have any question, you can go back to our... Uh, go back again so that you can understand. Okay, thank you, student, for learning online. I hope you learn a lot. And study well. See you again next time. Bye-bye.